In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can load a WMS overlay to consume map tiles from a WMS server. If you're not familiar with what WMS is, it stands for Web Map Service, and there's actually a standard out there by the Open Geospatial Consortium that defines what the interface looks like for it to be a valid web map service. So here at ThinkGeo, because of the popularity of various WMS servers and people using that to share map data and map tiles across the internet, we created an overlay that will allow you to easily connect to those servers and integrate them into the map control. So if you want to use a WMS overlay for your background map or, or just overlay it as a layer on top of some other data, it's really pretty straightforward to do. Uh, this samples uh, like a lot of our other samples where it allows you to pan around and zoom in and zoom out um, and it'll pull new tiles from from that server so with that let's take a look at the source code about how you would go about setting this up uh, this sample doesn't really have any controller source so we're going to go straight to the view source and all of the code that we want to go through is in this section right here and um, that's typical with most of the MVC samples. We've got our standard line here where we're just setting up the map, and setting its size, setting its background color, and then setting where the area that we want to zoom into with the current extent here. So as you can see, we're passing in some longitude and latitude coordinates for that area, um, representing the upper left and lower right point of the bounding box we want to zoom into. Next, we're setting our map unit. In this case, this WMS server is serving up the, uh, the map tiles in um, geodetic or uh, just regular longitude and latitude. So we're going to leave our map unit as decimal degrees. A lot of WMS servers will use Mercator or UTM, so you may have to set your map unit to uh, meters. So it's good to know what, uh, um, you know what you're expecting from your WMS server when it, when it comes to that. The next section is where we're adding the WMS overlay to the map, and we're just going to add it to the custom overlays collection. And we're going to do that by um, um, with this code here. And then typically when you have a WMS server, you need to pass it various parameters to tell it what type of layers you want, what styles, um, you know, where the server is at, the style, the, the tile size, and and all sorts of you know different parameters along those lines. So that's what we've done here in this code. So the WMS overlay has a parameters collection that allows you to add as many parameters you like or that the WMS service uh, supports. In this example, we're just setting the, uh, the layers and the style. And so we're telling the uh, WMS server we want the country's O2 boundaries, which is the boundaries of all the countries in the world. And we just want a simple style. Down here is where we actually point to where the WMS server resides. So in this case, this is a, uh, a test or sample WMS server we have set up here at ThinkGeo, and this is the URL to access that. If you uh, do a Google search for public WMS servers, you'll see there are many out there that uh, um, are exposed, and you can play with uh, um, hooking the different URLs. And you may need to change some of these parameters to match the layers that they support, and also make sure that you uh, um, are within the bounding box that they support and you're using the you know the right map unit as well and then finally down here we just set the uh, the tile height and width and then the tile type we want for the overlay so for this one we got multiple tiles so that means when we pan and zoom um, you know the tiles are going to kind of fill in in little chunks you could do single tile mode where when you pan the whole entire map refreshes and it just gets one image for this whole area so with that, that gives you just a basic introduction to the WMS overlay. Um, as usual, you can find out more information and look at some more detailed samples either on our wiki or in the How Do I samples that come with the product. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful. And please feel free to contact us if you have any questions, or you can also post on our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com forums. Thanks for watching.